So this lesson is going to be on a Sunhouse song called Perlene. The tuning for this song I'll have in the info section below, but it's Spanish open G with a capo on the second fret. And for this song you'll need your slide almost definitely on your pinky finger. I'll play the, uh, the song once so that you have an idea for how it sounds and then we'll get into the lesson. So this song starts with a slide up on the top three strings into the 12th fret. That's if we take into account where the capo is. And since this is Sunhouse, you'll have to play most of the s s notes that you slide on with a bit of vibrato. And the way to do this is, is um, if you're reaching up, have your thumb sort of on the side of the guitar, and that's where you can sort of have a fulcrum on. Pushing off your thumb there. And then you can just play the top two strings on the sliding into the 12th again, and then landing on the fourth string. So altogether that's... And then you play that fourth string again, but slide back and forth between the 11th and the 12th. So. And then you just repeat that. And this next part, he sort of varies each time he plays through one chorus. But this time, we'll just play it like this. So that's. And so, the thing about Sunhouse is that he often played his slide with a sort of slant. So, it wasn't always in tune. And that's sort of, it's sort of part of his sound to the point where you, you can recognize that it's him because some of the uh, notes are out of tune. So, actually it's, in this case, good to have a bit of a slant and not have it parallel to the frets if you want to get that Sunhouse sound. And remember to slide into each attack. And finishing with vibrato on that last one. And then what we do is go into the fifth fret. And that'll be on the fifth string with a little bit of vibrato. And then on the sixth string. So that's. And so we've got those slides, but for that finishing part, you can actually include the third or even the fifth strings with that fourth string. Because, like I said, he changes it each time. But make sure that you have that fourth string as the dominant note. And finish with that fourth string open. does is he kind of strums in between for two bars and the key here is to have some strums that just deal with the more lower register strings and then some strums that have the high string included in them so like kind of like this so it could be that or it could be make sure you sort of vary it. And then what happens is the turnaround, where you'll have to play a bar with your first finger across the seventh fret, and then come in with your third finger, because you've got your slide on your fourth finger, and that leg will just be, so tenth, ninth, and seventh. And with the bar it's, 
So the way that strum happens is up, down, up, down, up, down. And then in between, you'll actually play some open strings. And then you'll finish on open strings, and then there's a little bit of a sliding lick. So that starts on the 5th fret, then goes down to the 3rd, then 2nd and open. And with this, you kind of want to emulate as if you're just fretting the notes, so don't play too much vibrato here. And then you'll just, on that sec off that 2nd fret, just pull off. And then he plays this. So this is mostly about the right hand, and what you'll want to do is rake across until the 4th string. And on that 4th string, you'll be fretting the 3rd fret and bending almost about a half step. And then after that, you play the open 5th string. So what I'm doing is... And you can include a little bit of a palm mute on that rake, or you don't have to. Um, and then what he does is goes open 4th string, 3rd fret of the 3rd string, and then open 4th string again. And then he finishes it off with some strums. So I should mention a little lick that he also plays towards the end of the tune that goes like this. And that's a lot of right hand work and not actually a lot of work for the left hand. What you basically do is you come up to the 12th fret and play this, essentially. And that's coming down from the top string. And then coming on the, from the, after you play that 4th string note, coming down to the 10th fret on the 4th string, back to the 12th. And for the right hand, that's... So what you want to do is snap, and then come down, and then play um, the, the strum. And when you're coming down to play those strums, you're actually really, when you're coming down, you immediately, or if not simultaneously, mute the strings with the side of your hand. Those will be the open strings. So that'll mean having your slide really only on those top three strings, not all across all six. So for the final outro of the song, what Sunhouse plays is this. And that will basically be on the 5th fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, and open string of the top string. And to play it like Sunhouse does, you'll almost have to come from underneath the string and pop them. And then on the 3rd fret of the 4th string, you'll just have that fretted note, and then the rest of the notes you play with the strum will be open. So that's coming from... Up, down, and then on the second fret of the top string, and then the third.